In this section, we will be looking at the series in parallel resistance with a 1000 ohm resistor and a 100,000 ohm resistor uh, in different configurations and see how one impacts the other uh, depending on the way they are arranged. In this particular configuration, we had first observed that the 100,000 ohm resistor and the 1000 ohm resistor are in fact connected in series. Both ends of one of both resistors, one of the ends of both the resistors shares one of the horizontal connections underneath the breadboard, which creates this kind of series network all the way from this end to this end. Now, if I have the 100,000 ohm resistor and the 1000 ohm resistor in series. What we can first do is validate that indeed these two resistors are the measurements, or roughly the measurements, that we want them to be. So we expect that brown, black, and red will give us something close to 1000 ohm. And testing it out right here shows us that we are not uh, wrong. It is 0.99 kilo ohm, which is indeed close to 1000 ohm. If we do the same thing for the other resistor, we see that it's giving us 98.8 kilo ohm, which is close to 100,000 ohms. So our abilities to judge a resistor by the, or by the color strips have been improving. Um, now we look at the series configuration and we look at it across the whole two resistors here. And what I'm seeing on my um, DMM here is 99.8 kilo ohm. Now I'm going to change the configuration to the parallel network where I just make sure that both pins this time of the ten of the hundred thousand ohm resistor roughly are in line with the thousand ohm resistor. So here, when I connect them in parallel, we observe 0.98 kilo ohms, which is 980 ohms when connected in parallel.